Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Roblox font. So I'll actually show you how to get the old and also the new Roblox font. And this will actually be in the same pack. And later on I'll actually show you in Photoshop how it looks. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So I'm actually simply going to start here by typing Roblox font. Now normally I will just choose one of the sites right here. It was actually quite tricky to find this one. I was actually lucky enough to find one that actually had the old and the new one in the same one as I said. So I'm going to go here to images. I want to go to this one here from the font free. And I'm going to click on this right here. Now don't worry, I will put the link in the description. And actually just follow along to this video to download and install it. So anyway, I'm just going to go down here. As you can see, we have here the download button. It will start downloading up here in the right corner. So as you can see, robuxfonts.zip. What you can do then is click show in folder here. As you can see here, it will be in your downloads like for me. I'm just going to put it in my fonts folder. Take as you can see, I put it right here. So I'm just going to double click it and click on this one right here. As you can see, there are five fonts right here. As you can see, you might already recognize it. So I'm just going to one for one. As you can see, it is a true type font file. So make sure it's actually that one. When you download any font, make sure it's a .ttf. And just double click on it and do what I do. And there we go. I'm just going to go to Photoshop and actually show you how it looks. Okay, so here I am in Photoshop right now. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you could actually alternatively use Photopea. You can use it in any online web browser. I actually have a video right up here in the corner if you want to check that out. I actually did a tutorial on it. But in any case, I'm just going to start a new one here. So I'm going to do 920 by 1080. And then 300 and then I keep this on white and, and I do advise you to use RGB right here and then I click OK. So I'll actually make the background to layer by double clicking on it. There we go and I'm just going to make this color overlay in black right here. And I'm actually going to do the font. So there's actually two names in this case. So the first one is Chlorine app right here. So I'm of course going to type Roblox here. I'm going to make this white and I'm going to make this bigger. As you can see, we already have one example right here. Just going to place it in the middle. And this may not necessarily the one you can go for. This is just one of the options. But if I actually go down here, as you can see this one right here. I can actually show you how to rotate it afterwards to show you how you can actually get the original O like in Roblox itself. There you go. This one, as you can see, as you can see, you also have this one right here. Those are all the choices that you have. So once again, I do want to show you how to actually rotate the O, so I'll do that right now. Now, there are multiple ways you can do this, but an easy way would be actually just go to rectangular marquee tool right here, and then just simply make sure that you don't touch the other letters, only the O right here. Then also make sure that the word right here itself is rasterized type and then here you can do layer via cut and as you can see we have the o apart here so we have the o as a so we have the o here as a new layer so then we can just simply do like in the original logo just pretty much like this for example and there you go as you can see you could easily remake the logo like this then if you want to actually take put them together you can actually do this one hold control do the other one and do control g and so it becomes a group so that you can actually just move it together as one layer like that. Or alternatively, if I just right click on here again, I do ungroup and I make sure that both are selected again. And I actually do convert to smart object. As you can see, it just simply becomes one object. It's even more simple than, uh, than the other option. But you wouldn't be able to edit the text right now anymore. So do make sure that you make the change as well before you actually make this a smart object. But there you go, guys. I actually tried to find the best pack right here you could actually download and install in order to get the Roblox font. You can see here in Photoshop, but once again, you can also do it in Photopea. How to actually use the Roblox text for, for example, thumbnails, banners, logos, whatever layout you want to use it for. In any case, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. It would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.